In our next community conversation, we're joined by Anna Gray Hogan, drama instructor and philanthropy coordinator at the center. Hey, Steve. All right, Maggie, thank you. Appreciate you coming in today to talk about dreams that maybe get delayed but not forgotten. Absolutely. Thank uh, you for having me. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, we harbor dreams, a lot of us, secret, maybe not so secret, of being a performer or a writer, but then life gets in the way. <laughs> And a lot of times these dreams get put off to later in life, but there's a, a, a pathway for aspiring artists at the center. Absolutely. So we're really excited. We have a couple of programs that are starting in the next couple of weeks that are all about the arts. So the first one is called Second Act in Performance. And this is actually a course that I'm teaching. We'll be putting on a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. Um, should be a really fun opportunity for people who are interested in theater, maybe did it in high school, but haven't had a chance to get back into it. Uh, another option that we have is called Spark Your Singing which is a singing workshop. Uh, the teacher, Wesley Diner, is an award-winning vocalist and uh, founded his own studio. So he'll be giving um, some lessons in vocal technique and you know, healthy warm-ups, how to take care of your voice. And a third option is Publishing 101. So maybe there's someone out there who they've been working on their novel and <laughs> it's finally time to, to publish it, or they're just interesting in the publishing world, interested in the publishing world and, and want to know what that's about. So this would be a great opportunity to just learn a little bit more about all things publishing. You take people from all those categories and start a show called The Center's Got Talent. <laughs> Oh, that would be really fun. How Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Um, can anyone try their hand at these pursuits? Absolutely. They are meant to be open to all any level of experience. I'm definitely encouraging people for my class, for the Shakespeare class. You know, even if Shakespeare scares you and you don't <laughs> understand it, well, I'd love to work with you and, and we'll make it work. Um, let's talk about how taking part in the arts can have health benefits because we talk about healthy living with the center all the time and it's more about just staying physically active. Absolutely. So participating in creative pursuits has been shown to have really positive impacts on your brain, on memory. There's also the piece of just being around other people, interacting with people. Um, so that, you know, also has multiple benefits. Um, so you're going to get things like reducing stress, um, improved self-esteem from, from doing all of these cool programs. And in some of those that you've had interaction with or worked with at the center, can you notice a, a noticeable change from maybe the day they walk in the doors to after they take part in some of these? Oh, absolutely. I taught a, a previous theater class and one of my students was so nervous. She was really like, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm gonna try it. And by the end of the class, she just said, you know, I'm not scared anymore. And everyone was so warm and you really could see her come out of her shell, which was really cool to see, you know, in someone in their 70s. Spectacular. Yeah. Um, where can we learn about these? I know there are hundreds of things at the center <laughs> where can we go to get a little bit of knowledge yes our website is the best place to go it is thecenterseville.org and there are like you said hundreds of things going on anna gray appreciate it thanks for sharing with us thank you so much maggie